The Gibson Cancer Center is a uh, program that's part of Southeastern Regional Medical Center that offers um, care for patients with cancer as well as for patients with um, blood disorders. There's medical oncology services available and that, that includes uh, being able to see medical oncologists here locally as well as radiation oncology ser services. The medical oncologists provide both um, diagnosis of cancer as well as treatment of cancer and that includes treatment with chemotherapy, some of the newer um, antibody therapies or things referred to as biologic therapies, those are available here as well. In radiation oncology, there are um, a number of physicians who are part of a, a group of the Southeastern Radiation Oncology Group that provides services here for patients. And those include some of the most cutting edge technologies that are available. There are technologies referred to as um, intensity modulated radiation therapy or image guided radiation therapy and those are available here for patients at Southeastern Regional. But in addition to that, we're very fortunate to have nutritional counseling, things like um, so social work support to help patients who are going through a diagnosis of cancer and the treatment really get the services that help them and their families cope. One of the truly wonderful things about the Cancer Center is that we have both medical oncology and radiation oncology together. That nearness to each other really makes caring for patients with cancer much less complicated. Patients can come to one center, see their medical oncologist, see their radiation oncologist, and get the care really in, in one facility. And, and that is tremendously important. In addition to that, um, Southeastern Regional Medical Center has sponsored a number of ways that help the various disciplines involved in taking care of cancer patients work together and created something called a multidisciplinary tumor board. At Southeastern Regional, it occurs about twice a month where patients and, and their complex situations are discussed by many minds and that's sometimes very helpful in coming up with the best plan for individual patients. That's really an enormous benefit that often patients um, are only able to get if they go to major academic centers like Duke or UNC or some of the other centers that are here in the southeast. So it's, it's really a very nice opportunity for patients here at Southeastern Regional Medical Center. Southeastern has built a beautiful cancer center here. It's located uh, not far from the main campus of Southeastern Regional Medical Center, but it's on, on its own campus. It's in a beautiful setting and, as I mentioned before, combines both medical and radiation oncology. What Duke offers to that program is that Duke provides the physicians as well as the other clinical providers such as physician's assistant and nurse practitioners who in, in medical oncology who come to Southeastern to provide that care. In addition to that, we also have other medical oncologists who come down from Duke uh, several times a month to, to provide more subspecialty care. Duke also provides um, involvement in terms of ensuring that the staff, the nursing staff, the uh, pharmacy staff, et cetera, have uh, the skills that they need to be able to take care of cancer patients here in the 21st century. Um, Duke is very involved in ensuring pe people have yearly competency evaluations for uh, ad administering chemotherapy to be sure that they have competencies for participation in clinical trials. We really encourage and support the efforts of Southeastern to really get their nurses to push themselves to higher levels of, of training. So the clinical trials are an, an important part of oncology care. Everything we know about how to take care of cancer patients has to do with results from clinical trials. The fact that we know that chemotherapy can help improve the survival of women diagnosed with breast cancer. We know because of women, thousands of women who participated in, in clinical trials. Everything we know about even pediatric cancer, we know because of clinical trials. So clinical trials really have a very important role in, in the care of cancer patients. And in fact, the option for clinical trials is considered part of the cutting edge therapy available in, in cancer care. So we really think it's important that pa patients with cancer have the opportunity to participate in clinical trials. 
Southeastern Regional Medical Center has shared that vision, and that's important because being able to offer clinical trials is enormously complex. It requires an enormous infrastructure to help support that. Duke has been committed to having clinical trials available here at Southeastern and helping Southeastern have that infrastructure in, in place. Even though they're sponsored by a national group, that doesn't mean that every trial is appropriate for the community here. And so Southeastern Re Regional will review all the clinical trials that are performed here to make sure that they're appropriate for the local community. But in addition to those national cooperative group trials that are available, Southeastern Regional has the benefit of being able to access Duke investigator-initiated trials. Duke is a research institution, it's an educational institution, and there's a lot of research that's going on there to find the best way to take care of cancer patients. So I think all of those things are, are hallmarks of a wonderful cancer program that's available to patients here in the Robeson County and surrounding communities.